<laughs> oh man, it has been one heck of a year already. And 2023 is just getting started. And honestly, guys, that's why I wasn't going to make this video. I was initially going to ignore it, especially with the events of Wizards of the Coast OGL, open gaming license for those of you that aren't keen on nerd speak, taking the forefront of the YouTube recommendations pages. However, after seeing the outcome of the OGL events, or at least the direction the community has taken alongside Paizo, the creators of Pathfinder, I decided to make this video in the hope, the hope that it may draw some attention to the growing issue on YouTube and in the content creation space as a whole. This issue I'm referring to is, of course, the lack of discoverability on streaming and video hosting platforms. But with YouTube and Twitch especially, I hard focus on these two platforms mostly because they are, sadly, the only real platforms creators have to stream or host their videos. Sure, there's Facebook Gaming and TikTok, but if you think Twitch has garbage monetization on its partner program and YouTube's algorithms make no sense, and that's not even to mention the predatory copyright claims, then I invite you to stream on Facebook for a while and post some videos on TikTok. You'll be begging to be back on Twitch and YouTube in no time. Well, I'm being sassy, of course, but this illustrates the problem as a whole. With the current meta of content creation, in order to become popular on Twitch, you have to create content on other platforms. YouTube. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, etc. But all of those platforms I just mentioned, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram especially, require additional time and, frankly, money investments that, for many smaller creators, much like myself, it's just simply out of our means. And this is where the problem starts. There is too much predatory monetization and favoritism within the content creation world. So, all right, I can already hear some of you in the comments section right now. But Nimda, we already know all this. That's why we only follow insert large creator name here. Yeah, all right. Now, what if I told you that these larger creators, the ones that so many of you worship and follow, are some of the biggest contributors to the problem. You're probably sat there thinking to yourself, what do you mean my favorite creator is part of the problem? But they donate to charity. They consistently shout out other creators smaller than themselves. <laughs> and the most laughable one that I always hear, they only make the best quality content. And once again, I can already hear a bunch of you take into the comment section to crucify me for daring to call out these golden saints of content creation, especially of YouTube and Twitch for their part in the problem. And I am very sure that even more of you are currently going through my own content on my page with a fine tooth comb right now to point out any issues or blatant hypocrisies with my statement. And that's fine. Y'all are welcome to nitpick and judge all you want. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. But you're not helping to fix the problem or to draw attention to it. You're just adding to it. Now, for the rest of you that have an open mind or have been seeing much the same thing that I've been seeing. Maybe you've even mentioned this a time or two in your own content or to your friends. I would like to take this time to show you one of the most recent and at least in my own personal opinion, the most egregious example of this problem. This is the Garden of Eyes. A hot new mod for From Software's open world Souls-like game, Elden Ring. If you're new to my channel, by the way, welcome and please, for the love of God, like and 
leave a comment. It makes the algorithm happy and the digital gods know my channel could use the love. At the time of writing and recording this, the current game version is 1.08.1. With the introduction of the arena and PvP rebalances, those who enjoy PvP are having a great time in Elden Ring right now. But for those of us who enjoy a more PvE experience, or create content based around gameplay and not just trolling kids who just got the game brand new for Christmas from Grandma, we've been left rather high and dry, to coin a phrase. Enter the modding community. Modding games has long been a great way for PC gamers to farm hours of extra gameplay out of various games we buy for our overpriced workstations that we pretend we bought largely for work. But in reality, it's actually because console gaming is just not a good enough fix for us anymore. Bethesda games such as, Elder, as the Elder Scrolls series, most commonly Skyrim, and the Fallout series, New Vegas and Fallout 4, respectively, are some of the most modded games on PC. Console players got a small taste of what it was like to mod those games on the Xbox One in 2016. But sadly, the trend never caught on as consoles have too much hardware and software security as well as far too many restrictions and limitations on other things such as install locations, storage sizes, and of course content licensing in general. Is it any wonder why there was such a mass exodus from console gaming to PC gaming? Which only helped to complicate the inflated prices and mass shortages of PC hardware that was running rampant in 2021. And, in many places, it is still ongoing into the first few months of 2023 at the time this video was recorded. Civics lessons aside, modding is just one of the more recent places that the erroneous and most often blatant disregard for smaller creators has become apparent. Footage you have been watching is from one of my own personal gameplays of The Garden of Eyes. If you are interested in trying this mod for yourself, I will provide a link to the creator's Patreon page below. And yes, that is correct. For those of you quick on the uptake, this is not a free mod. You cannot find this mod on Nexus Modding. You can't find it on any site for that matter without paying for the mod. And this, friends and family, is where I take up my grievances with this whole situation. You have to pay to even try this mod for yourself. The amount is only $5, but that isn't a one-time fee. This cost is a monthly payment. Sure, you could pay for it once and own the mod and then cancel your subscription. But what happens when Elden Ring updates? Then you're stuck with a mod you can't even use or no longer functions properly because you're not paying to be allowed to have the current updates. Elden Ring isn't like the rest of the Dark Souls games, completed and not receiving any new updates. And even with that, Dark Souls 3 just recently got an update due to some errors in their netcode that was causing hacking. There's plenty of additional content coming for Elden Ring, official DLC content that we will have to pay for already on top of the purchase of our 60, 70, 80, or even a hundred plus dollar game we've already bought once on top of buying our PC or console and paying for our internet connection and our electric bill, rent, mortgage, homes, taxes, whatever. All of that. I'm not going to get into the disgusting mess that is corporate America right now. I will save that for another video and another time. But even my followers from outside of America can attest to the economic mess capitalism and corporate welfare has made our current world. Back to the subject, however. This mod, Garden of Eyes, costs money. Money that we all had to earn working our butts off at whatever thing it is we do on a daily basis to keep ourselves fed, clothed, and with a place to sleep. This becomes even more painful for those who do not have a regular income from work. Maybe you're disabled on a very strict budget, so you have to decide every single day what to buy and what to go without. Maybe you're elderly with an even stricter budget, trying to balance medication, house payments, or rent along with food and other essentials. Maybe you're a parent that has a child that you were buying for, and now you have this additional payment on top of everything else. Whatever it is that you have to pay for 
having to pay a monthly fee for a mod is probably not at the top of your important things list. Which is fine, that is understandable. But this becomes a much larger problem when that child you're buying for, or even you yourself are sitting down to watch content on your favorite platform of choice, because let's be honest, no one but boomers are still watching or even paying for cable TV these days, seriously. And all you see is some of the biggest creators on these platforms fawning over this mod. This mod, which costs a monthly fee of five USD, on top of the already ridiculous amount we have to pay out on a regular basis. Now again, before you take to the comments, blaming me and trying to crucify me for not wanting creators to get paid for their work, or spamming, what's the big deal, it's just five dollars? Let me extrapolate upon my objections to this. I have a Patreon. I am a Twitch affiliate that regularly gets paid based on revenue, bits, or sponsorships. Hell, even this video is sponsored! Are you feeling tired? Run down? Lack of focus? No energy to do the things you used to love to do? To do the things you have to do? Don't quit. Try Dubby! Dubby Energy Drink. Dubby is a clean energy drink that is made to give you focus with no crash, jitters, or angst like other energy drinks. There's no maladextrin, no fillers, and they don't use artificial dyes. Dubby contains vitamins, amino acids, and a nootropic and 150 milligrams of caffeine. And unlike coffee, it actually tastes great. The product is made in the USA in an FDA inspected facility that strictly adheres to the GMP manufacturing guidelines. They were founded on April 15th, 2021, and since then have created and grown a very awesome community of streamers, content creators, and gamers. Biggest goal with W is to create a one-of-a-kind community in which we can help all collaborate and help each other grow and be better. All the W's flavors are unique and custom made. We'll never taste our taste anywhere else. The nice thing is, W is cheap and affordable. The cost is about $1 per drink or less. Much cheaper than Starbucks or any of those mass-produced canned beverages that you would get at a convenience store. So if you're looking for something to help you get back to what it is that you like to do, whether that's working on projects, heading out to work, streaming, or taking down multinational corporations and sticking it to the man, try Dubby! Be better. Also, if you use my discount code NIMDAEXE, you will get yourself 10% off of your order. Once again, that's NIMDAEXE for 10% off of your order. Check it out at W.GG. So, I am in no way trying to condemn the creator for wanting to be paid for their work. Not in the least. But what I am condemning is the scummy monetization practice and blatant favoritism, especially by larger creators across all platforms. The amount of coverage they have given to this mod, especially when it costs money. If you think I am blowing this whole thing way out of proportion, allow me to show you some of the similar grievances being brought forth by other creators, mod authors, as well as fellow players of the Elden Ring mod. Oh no! Really? What did you say? These comments were pulled directly from the mod creator's own YouTube videos promoting the mod. Names and icons have of course been omitted, as I do not want to endorse bullying, harassment, or any such behavior towards either the creator of the mod or the people who have lodged complaints or grievances. And it is not just the YouTube channel where these complaints are being brought to the creator's attention. 
I made my thoughts on the matter known as well, largely on the Discord channel. It went, <laughs> well, it's Discord, so you can probably guess. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> As expected, all the true fans jumped to the defense of the mod creator. I am sure it doesn't come as any surprise to anyone that all of these comments came from members of the admin team on that Discord channel or members of the mod author's own team. Honestly, I expected nothing less, but at least I wanted to make an attempt at trying to reason with the mod creator and or their team before I made this video. Also, I, of course, heard nothing at all from the mod creator themselves. Clearly, they must have been too busy or too important to acknowledge the complaints or concerns of their customer base, or even a fellow creator. The thing that upsets me the most about this situation is the absolute atrocious and obvious amount of coverage that this mod is getting opposed to mods from smaller creators that, well, frankly, are better and more importantly, free for the public to try. Of course, these creators also have Patreons and Discords. Why wouldn't they? They want to receive compensation for their work as well. But unlike Garden of Eyes, they also realize that times are not great and that modding is first and foremost a community-driven effort. And without the community, well, you're essentially just spending a lot of time tweaking game files for your own personal amusement. So the first of these videos, likely many of you have already seen or caught the trick stream by Asmongold TV. Elden Ring, the Garden of Eyes. That's pretty fucking badass. Holy shit. Is this Godric? Feeling as it can be to normies. It's about making the people that are already fans continue playing it. I think that's what the most important thing is. 414,000 views as of seven days ago, according to the time of me writing the script for this video. That is ludicrously repugnant. Asmogold literally promoting a pay mod by a creator who already has 134,000 subscribers on YouTube alone. Are we starting to see where some of that favoritism I mentioned is coming from? And that's not even to mention all the comments and criticism from others saying that this mod author has stolen assets, has been removed from Seamless Co-op's Discord for trying to sell their mod without permission. I can't believe you've done this. And here we have big name creators promoting it. This is disgusting. Here's another one from Rage Gaming Videos on YouTube that has over 103 thousand views. I'm in a very different version of the game, as you can see here with the menu. This is the Garden of Eyes DLC mod. This group was able to pack it all together to form a lot of new content to try and play. Such as, yeah, Mikola's Twin Blades here, using the Rune of Abundance that is technically in the files of the game and is an unused weapon with details that you can find in game that we've talked about previously. Patreon with various tiers to access all of the content they've produced so far. They're not asking for much and it's well worth it just to try. A big thank you then to the team behind all of this and Garden of Eyes for creating something like this, asking us to check it out. We'll be looking forward to seeing what comes with this mod pack in the future. That's over 100,000 views again within just 10 days. Both Asmogold TV and Rage Gaming videos have over 1.7 and 1.1 million subscribers respectively on their channels. Isn't it amazing how these big creators all seem to be in the know about each other's projects and videos, and are all so quick to spread the good word about them. Yet for smaller creators, we never seem to experience that same luck or goodwill. 
No matter how good our content or what new trend it is we follow. Just for context, here is another creator, Mythimu, with over 500,000 subscribers, doing a full playthrough of Garden of Eyes and offering nothing but praise for the mod, despite all of what we've seen and heard so far. Hello everyone and welcome to possibly the best Elden Ring mod that exists. I don't know yet, but that's why we're trying this out here, the Garden of Eyes. 100% down to do a series in this, and of course, if you guys want it, leave a like on this video, best indicators, let me know. To be fair, Mythimu also did a full playthrough of the Ascended mod, which is free for everyone to play and try for themselves. He's also done a playthrough of Elden Ring Reforged, which is also a free mod. Several of these mods I have actually played myself and would openly promote and will promote on my channel. Honestly, I don't like to do these type of videos. I prefer to make fun and quirky videos that make people laugh or stream fun gameplay or even just stream myself reacting to some type of funny or cringy content. However, with the community coming together with Paizo against the corporate tyranny of Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast during the OGL events, I hope that maybe, just maybe, my making this video would spark some change within the community of YouTube, Twitch, and every other content creation platform out there. I hope even more that this will reach creators like Asmgold, Rage Gaming, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and other creators like them and get them to start promoting more smaller content creators putting in the work and being utterly ignored by the algorithm to help with this i am providing gameplay from two other mods both available on nexus links will be in the description that from my experience with playing them both on stream and in my own spare time, are far better than the Garden of Eyes. They are both free, and if you want to help out the creators, I provided their Patreons and their Discords in the descriptions. Please enjoy the remaining video reels. 